Recording has started, and I'll give you a brief explanation of what this is. This is a little demo of our Link 2010 conferencing server. Uh, right now, I'm the presenter. I have one other attendee, which is a test account I have set up. And I'm also sharing my video. If I didn't want to share my video, I could either end it by clicking the little video option. Just slide this over. There you guys go. I can click on the little video option here. I can either end video, pause it, hide my preview, duh, 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 etc. If I hit pause, there, look at that good pause right there. Well, I'll just start up again. There we go. Okay. I can also decide to share something with the members or the attendees, I should say. Um, I can do my secondary monitor because I do a monitor setup. Um, I could share both of them. I could also share a specific program that I've got set up uh, or PowerPoint presentation. But for this one, we'll just start up a new whiteboard here. And it's going to loop in on you, so we're not going to share that like that. There we go. That should be. There we go. Now we're no longer looping in. <laughs> All right. So then you can basically take a little marker. I should just, so my, if I said, yeah, everyone can contribute. What is the top there? My little helper here, you can come along and try and draw some lines or maybe put in some text. Put in some text. There we go. And I would see it on my side. All right, so I'm just going to turn that off. All right, and hide that. Go back over here. Okay, so this is what I. Right, that's what I'm seeing. There we go. There we go. Now this is what you guys are seeing. And I'm just looping again. So I want to hide the stage. There we go. No more looping in. Okay. All right. So if we wanted to add more people, we could go and invite by name or phone number. Uh, preferred if you did email. If they are using link and they're in your existing comments, you can comments. Their existing contacts. I'm not going to even edit this video. We're just going to go live like this. This is good. All right, so I click on a person and then add them. I'm not gonna look at that. Everybody's away. All right, and now I can either click in the little triangle. I can either stop the recording I'm doing now, but we're gonna keep going. So underneath the little person, the triangle. If I say play entry and exit announcements, it'll notify me when people leave. So I'll turn that on, and I could mute the audience if my attendee was being really noisy. I could make everyone an attendee. Uh, that should be defaulted. But we'll do it in there. We go. In order to continue, everybody's going to be an attendee. Yes. Should maybe do that before you start the meeting, just to make sure that they can't take over. And you could also invite by email. And it's going to create a little email here. I'll just Drag it over for you guys to see. There we go. So basically, you would send it to the people that you want to attend your meeting. Da, 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 da. And if they didn't have a link client on their computer, we could get them to connect through our internal website. Uh, it's not external at the moment. You can click find a new local number. We won't give you anything other than our test numbers that we've got set up here. Uh, we're trying to get our link and Cisco systems working together so that you could dial in from a Cisco system right into this meeting and you would be connected via audio only. It doesn't prevent you from connecting to the website. Uh, and they would give you a conference ID. All right, so we're just going to cancel that one out for now. Nope. That. All right, so if I right click on my little helper here, my little attendee, just right click anywhere on his contact. 
And then if I said make him a presenter, then he can, can take over. So I'll just slide out of the way here. And now he's going to share. Oh, just give me a minute here. I'll get something open for you guys to show you. I'm going to open up Word. A minute. Okay, so they're opening up Word. You just got to share it. And then program. Basically, here, I'll show you what he's doing. He's going share and then program. And then he's picking out a program to share. All right. So base, I'll slide mine out of the way. Actually, I'm okay there. For fun. Whatever. All right. Is he going to have, there you go. He click share and program. He's going to pick the Microsoft Word document he's got open. And then he can share it. And what's going to happen? What I'll do here is end my video. There we go. No, end video. There we go. Okay. So, they're sharing a word. And I have to view my little stage here. Yeah, there, see, disconnected video. Um, huh. I do not know why I don't see it. Nice. Okay, yeah, his says it's sharing. You're seeing it. I am not seeing it. Why am I not seeing this? No, I don't want to transfer that. Oh, show stage. There we go. Okay. So I can see it, they can see it. I'm just going to minimize this one here. I'm going to have a helper to go into Word. Oh, I minimized it. Technical difficulties are great when you're doing a live demo, eh? All right. Well, he's sharing. He's going to be nice. He's going to say... I'm walking over there. Excuse me. Get control. It's going to give control to me. All right. Now that I've got control, I can click in here. Oh, sorry, I just often think what I was going to type. Okay, so I can see what I'm typing. The other attendee can see what they're what I'm typing, but because I have control, they can't do anything. Uh, what I can do is then I can just go in and say release control. And then our little participant will say, okay, now he's got control. He goes in and types another one. Good. All right. You guys can't see me, but I'm walking back and forth between computers. <laughs> okay. So there. Now we're done because this thing was drug on long enough. Um, there's more information on the website, and I have that attached in the email I'm going to send out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to share my secondary monitor in a second with you. All right. Do that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, so we're done. I can right-click on my little friend, and I can make him an attendee again. Right. But since we're done, I can just go and remove everybody from the meeting, or I can right-click on him and say remove. And with any luck. Test staff ACH is now exiting. Hopefully you guys heard that. So we're done. I'm just going to do that. It says remove everybody from the meeting. And we should be done.